Chinese human rights lawyer Gao Zhisheng was finally allowed a visitation from his family. The reunion took place in the remote Xinjiang prison in which Gao has been held. NTD spoke to Gao's wife about the meeting with his brother and her father. After more than nine months apart, renowned Chinese rights lawyer Gao Zhisheng was allowed to see his family. On January 12th, Gao met and spoke with his younger brother and father-in-law inside the Xinjiang prison where he's been held captive. Gao Zhisheng looked fine. He walked out and it seemed that his limbs were not injured. He was shaved bald and wasn't very skinny. Gao's wife, Gang He, fled to the United States with her two children in 2009. She said her husband was barred from talking about his condition inside the prison. They couldn't ask him about anything inside the prison. His brother asked at the end, at the meeting, whether he could read the newspaper or watch TV. The prison guard interrupted and said Gao couldn't watch TV, but that they had had a library. If nothing else, the meeting confirmed Gao is alive and appeared well. There have been fears over his well-being after prison officials denied his elder brother a meeting with Gao last August. Gao has previously given accounts of severe torture at the hands of security officials during periods of forced disappearance. Human rights lawyer Tang Jingling told the Epoch Times newspaper that he believes Gao is still being tortured and subject to strict control. Fellow rights activist Hu Jia is urging supporters to send postcards to the prison as one way to help ensure Gao's safety. Those postcards can make the prison aware that there is outside attention on them. Therefore, each postcard is putting pressure on the prison. The pressure reminds them not to rampantly persecute political prisoners. Gao Jishen has sometimes been referred to as the conscience of China. He grew to prominence through defending minorities. Then after publicly calling on the Chinese regime to stop persecuting the Falun Gong spiritual practice, Gao became targeted himself. In 2006, Gao was given a three-year sentence for so-called subversion, with a five-year probation. After disappearing into detention in 2009, state-run media announced in December 2011 that Gao violated probation and is serving his sentence in the remote region of Xinjiang.